very much. Thank you also for the invitation to this interesting event. I would like to make a few remarks about let's say, the importance of development in Mexico for other countries and the region and also for, for the development uh, of global global economy because when we speak about um, about Mexico uh, we are here in the Czech Republic at the Friday. Everybody knows Mexico, of course, but not everybody uh, is aware about the size of, of Mexican, Mexican economy, about the number of Americans, that it's one of the largest economy. And if today uh, the new wording uh, in, in the global economy is big B, B, R, I, C, Brazil, uh, Russia, India, China, definitely uh, Mexico belongs to this, to this group in a wider sense of the word being one of the really fastest growing and very important economies in the world. Uh, at the same time, if you open the forests, uh, and uh, you, you try to find the richest man, so he has a Mexican passport, or at least I hope he has a Mexican passport, not, <laughs> not the Swiss one, <laughs> because of this issue. But uh, still, um, this is something very, very interesting. And uh, that comes from a business in, in really economy, you know, just the straight steroids or something like that. So this is this is quite quite interesting information about Mexico. On the other hand, if you take any any internet search and you put on Mexico, I would say roughly eight out of uh, ten articles will speak about crime, will speak about truck cartels, about about development, uh, with the special, uh, the special uh, part of, of of the Mexico Mexico prison. But in my opinion, still much more important is the is the internal strength of, of Mexico. So let's let's point out once again some important features. So Mexico is a stable free trade economy with stable political system. The first Latin American member of the OECD. First Latin American country that has had, uh, this, uh, signed a treaty with, uh, with the European Union that is still quite well worth 90% of foreign trade uh, of uh, Mexico is with country or systems or companies uh, where, the, where the trade is based on free, free market contracts. Which is something that is not, is not that normal for, for many, many other countries. Uh, also, when we observe the, the, the past developments, the recent developments of Mexico, and that's, that's I, I think one of the sources for optimism, even for the fight with the present crisis concerning drug cartels and crime, etc. So uh, Mexico has showed a very, very good capability to solve very deep economic and uh, political problems, because in the year. We, Everybody now uh, speaks and has still in mind the economic crisis of the year 2008 or 2009. But uh, one of the deepest crises uh, that touched one of our countries and started the global turmoil was the crisis in 1994 uh, with Mexican peso, this overvaluated Mexican peso. And uh, it led to really very difficult development in Mexico and still uh, the country didn't go into total collapse. It didn't endanger, uh, maybe it did endanger, but it didn't change the, the, the general system of the country. It didn't change the principles of, um, of social system, political system and economy in this country, which is, which is very important. And also it helped Mexico to deal in a much better way with the global crisis in the year 2008. Of course, Mexico is a NAFTA, as I mentioned, uh, member and as a country that is very much linked, whose economy is very much linked to the United States, was influenced by, by the crisis in the, the year 2008. But still, still, its reaction and flexibility was even much higher than the one of the United States itself. The stock exchange in Mexico dropped by 23%. In the United States, 78%. In Russia, 70%. Uh, 
uh, the GDP in one year dropped by 5%, but already in the year 2010 there was an increase in about 5% of the first estimates. Uh, everything this was thanks to the very cautious, and we in Europe know what it means to speak about deficits and, and foreign debt and so on. So this, so, so the economic, macroeconomic policy of Mexico is something that is hardly comparable with with the with this European countries because because there was uh, there was a deficit uh, was uh, even now after the crisis it's about 40 percent and there was almost uh, extremely low foreign debt, uh, flexible exchange rate and very good uh, very good. Uh, uh, management and regulation of banking and financial sector because if I'm not mistaken there was no, uh, no important uh, uh, fault of a bank and uh, there was even not a special uh, real estate bubble unlike in the neighboring, uh, neighboring United States of, uh, of America. So this is, these are very special achievements and a very good basis for uh, in fighting also other challenges of the countries. There was also important political change because this is also something that is this is not easy and there are not many examples in the world that you that this, that was a country Mexico is a country where there was one governing party for 70 years and, the, and after the very tight elections, the presidential elections, there was a very peaceful and complicated for a short time, but, but in the end, peaceful and standard uh, change of the government and the, the country can, uh, can function and even proceed with important social and political uh, or economic reforms. So, still, security, crime, drugs is one of the, of the most important problems of the country. Uh, which can of course uh, influence the, its attractivity for the world and, and general stability because, because personal security, uh, let's say, importance of property, which some of the authors describe as the sort of you know, Latin American author, economists describe as one of the crucial things for uh, development of free economy and markets can be in danger in, in some regions, but still not uh, from the point of view of the legal system. This is not uh, in doubt in Mexico and this is very important for, for the final solution because, because for fighting problems like, like violence and crime, it's important not to go into one of two dangerous extremes because either you can, you can try to fight too hard I mean, too hard, meaning with deprivation of some liberties, which can in short time bring good results, but in long term it can lead to very bad consequences for the stability as such. Or you can go in a way of, of trying to, let's say, let's call it buy the people and uh, increase uh, social systems and salaries and everything in order to calm down the situation but the price will be the stabilization of the economy so you are going between skill and character of two threads and so far seen from outside of course as outside observer Mexico is trying not to, not to fall into any of these two traps maybe last remark concerning Mexico and its role in the world. I think it's, it's to a certain extent also very very special because, because of two reasons, just to mention two. The first one is a special role of Mexico it's, uh, because it's a neighboring country of, uh, of the United States of America and, uh, it, and the Mexicans and also other Latin Americans play as immigrants more and more important role for the United States of America themselves. Which is a new feature of the development of this country, largely, or let's say economically most uh, strongest country in the world. 